my name is Gary, and what I'm going to be doing today is showing you how to use name ranges and also the comma function. And um, what I have here is I have a, uh, a form that we're going to be using to survey some of the different advisories and how much uh, trash that students collect on a daily basis for an Earth Week activity. And I've already submitted um, a couple of kind of dummy classes here. But what I want to do, and uh, this is also something you can do with data in a lot of different forms, is to use uh, the information to count up and look for trends in the data. Now, obviously, I see like, you know, like this teacher has this, and this is some data here. What I want is I want to find out actually how many grades have actually submitted their forms. So right now we see we have one submission in grade six and seven. But what I want to do is I'm going to go down here and I'm going to make a new sheet, which I already did, and I just named this grade. And I just typed in uh, grade uh, and number of submissions, grade six, seven, and eight. So what I want to do is I want to actually set up a quick formula to when something is submitted in this column D here, then basically it's going to kick over and kind of add up like how many different, you know, advisories in each grade level have done this. So what this does is takes us to this tab called data and it goes name ranges. So I'm going to go to data, I'm going to go to name range, and I'm going to go to add a range. And I want to specifically filter for this one called uh, what grade levels in this advisory. And I'm just going to call this grade. And right now, by default, the first part of the of the formula is teacher submissions. And I've relabeled this tab down here, teacher submissions. Otherwise, I might say like form submissions. And it says D1. I'm actually going to clear that a little bit. I'm going to call it D2. We'll have about, I think, uh, 20 submissions. So I'm going to hit whatever pops in between cell D2 and, sorry, D22 uh, will automatically kind of be collated uh, into that other tab. So I'm going to hit done. Uh, it's pretty good. And you'll see that they're already highlighted right here. So I'm going to go to grade now. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use now the counter function. And the counter function means that if something is submitted with grade 6, 7, or 8, it's basically going to be submitted. And what we should see is we should see a 1 next to grade 7 and grade 6 because there's been one submission from each of those. So I'm just going to click in the cell right here. I'm going to say equals countif. And I'm going to use the left parenthesis. And since I have my name to range, what I'm going to do is just type that in grade and I'm going to comma A2. So now that I've done that, I have one. I'm just going to grab that, pull it down. You can see it automatically populates in there. Uh, I can do this one more time. So uh, this actually is a grade eight teacher here. So I'm going to hit grade eight. And let's just kind of see that this is how much like data they collected uh, over Earth Week. And if I hit submit that, um, you'll see now that here on my teacher submission form, we have now a grade eight submission. And that pops up in here. So this is a really cool way you can also visualize data. You can like make a chart that'll like automatically populate in real time. So uh, this is a really, really cool feature, Google Spreadsheets, and I hope you enjoyed it.